Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com, the one and only. In this video, we're gonna discuss what's the difference between web development on demand and freelancing. So yeah, man, let's get started. So we're gonna start with the scenario that you are a Shopify expert. In this way, we're gonna be able to see the difference between the freelancer and the person who's doing web development on demand. Let's start with freelancing because it's a concept that you guys all know, which is basically getting paid for every project. And let's say this is the scenario of the Shopify expert. He goes in, creates a Fiverr account, or maybe has a Instagram or a TikTok, etc., right? Where he's displaying his skills and he basically charging per project, meaning that he's charging $2,000 for setting up a store. Then after selling the store, charges $200 for uploading 10 products. Then from there, let's say $200 for a landing page, maybe setting up Google tags and Facebook pixels and TikTok pixels. They go in and they charge another a hundred dollars for that right maybe the setting up of the domain right he's gonna go in and charge a fifty dollar fee for that etc so he's charging per project every single thing that he's doing he's charging for that and sometimes it can be profitable because you're basically charging for every single project and if that client comes in and has a lot of projects for you shoot man you're making a lot of money right but usually what happens is you might have a couple of small projects that you do for a client and then you don't see him again for a year right maybe six months or even longer than that so freelancing you end up having to spend more time or constantly trying to get new clients every single time right because at the end of the day once you finish those projects for that person then that's it your job is done okay uh sometimes like i said if if it's a client that they have a lot of work they might give you you know more work here and there but it's not consistent right now with web development on demand it's a little bit different instead of focusing on getting a one-time payment what you're focusing is on building a relationship where you can now have recurring income from a client so let's say you're still charging two thousand dollars for setting up the online store right for this business but this time around what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to build a package around the things that you can do for this client on a monthly basis now again you have to go in and create a package that makes sense to you and makes sense to the client you can go in and say well i'm gonna work for you unlimited right and i'm gonna charge you a hundred dollars because guess what now they could have you working all day long like you're a full-time employee and you're only getting paid a hundred dollars for the whole month that doesn't make sense and this is where having other skills other than just click clacking on a keyboard makes you more valuable right so again you're not gonna be coding all day if you're working at a tech company and they're focusing on building a software as a service, then yeah, you're adding features every single day to that specific application or software that they're creating. But when you're working with small businesses, you need to understand how is it that a business can grow and what are the things that a business might need from you on a daily basis, right? This is something that some of you guys that have done like e-commerce stores or maybe, you know, have worked in a digital agency, right? With small to medium sized businesses understand that guess what? You're going to have to go in and wear multiple hats, okay? Because you're not going to be coding all day. Also, most small businesses do not need you to code all day because they just don't have enough work for you. It's not the same as working as a tech startup or working at an established tech company or maybe big corporation where they have different departments and different uh, internal tools, etc. Like they might not need you to do any of those things so what can you provide them that will make sense for that small business to say okay yeah i'm willing to pay this person x amount of dollars on a monthly basis and especially coming from a developer or someone who has knowledge of web development okay we're not just talking about coding all day or click lagging all day we're talking about providing the services on the web that they might need right so that's the main difference between freelancing and web development on demand okay freelancing you're gonna nickel and dime the client to death okay for every single project they gotta pay you a set amount and then with this what you're doing is you're setting up a package that you're gonna have scoped and you say well i'm providing you this service one task at a time right 
and you're going to pay me X amount of dollars. Let's go in and take a quick example. Let's say an e-commerce company needs to send out emails two times a week. Usually they will pay a freelancer, you know, $200 per email. Maybe it comes out to like $1,600 a month. Now, by you setting up this baseline with them in this package, you can say, instead of you paying $1,600 a month, you just pay me $1,000 and I'll set this up for you. So now you have this recurring income coming in from this company. And instead of them having to hire somebody full time to do that, where maybe they don't have enough work for that person uh, to work full time and, and make sense for them. Now they could just hire you with your company and you're basically handling whatever they have to do on the email side. And yes, you could say, well, if you go in and charge $200 freelancing, you're going to make more money per project. But the truth is that most clients, when they hire people freelancing, they just hire them for a one-off project, or maybe they might call you every two, three months. Like you don't want that. You don't want that uncertainty. You want to have something secure where you say, well, I have this company and I'm working with them and they're paying me a thousand dollars a month, two thousand dollars a month, five thousand dollars a month, whatever it is that you're charging for your overall services, but you have a consistent baseline for you to say, hey, this is how much I make every single month instead of, well, I charge $200 whenever they call me. Like, you get what I'm saying? Now, again, we got to go deeper into the way how we got to set up our packages so it can make business sense. And that's what we're going to cover in the next video. But hopefully this video cleared it up for you guys so you guys can understand the difference between freelancing and actually setting up web development on demand in this type of business model. Now, guys, if you want to go in and you want to learn the skills that you can actually use to set up this type of business models, I will say definitely check out my website, codingphase.com, guys, because this is what we've been doing for like seven years, bro. Okay, this is what I've been preaching here since the beginning, since I started on this channel. And this is what I did through my whole career. I learned skills that not only can I get a full time job with, but then also to learn skills that I can put into practice and make money on the side or even create my own businesses with. For example, you got content editor, email developer, Shopify theme developer, right? We also cover things like front end development, PHP development, React development. So everything that you're going to need, it's on this platform. Definitely go check it out. Links in the description. And again, there's a lot of value here just on this page alone, how it breaks down everything about the tech industry, how to get in, you know, how to actually make money as a developer. So definitely go check out that page. Link is going to be in the description. And again, when you're ready, sign up to become a diamond member of codingphase.com. Okay. So another thing that I want to say is continue watching the series. Okay. We're going to be dropping a lot of videos in the next video that you're going to see here is going to be very valuable to you if you want to set up this business model.